Some viewers may find this disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hi my loves, it's Destin Choice and you're watching Choice TV. So in today's video we're going to talk about the hood booger Miss Cardi B, the narcissist Miss Cardi B. You know how much money I make off a fucking show? 700 plus. 700 plus. And if you think I'm lying, ask, a, ask your favorite promoter, bitch. But motherfuckers gonna say that my motherfucking numbers be motherfucking fucking payola. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Niggas. Fuck is y'all talking about? And basically I'm gonna be fucking up my late midnight snack. Because I can't fucking sleep for shit. While we discuss Cardi B's situation, in case you guys didn't know, Cardi B is most likely going to be facing jail time. Woo, child. When the barbs found out about this shit, they were having a field day with her ass. The tweets were fucking disgusting. The shit that people were saying were vicious. Everybody was like, ha ha, that's what she get. Ha 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 ha. Everybody go stream Megatron. First of all, Megatron was trash. Nikki's new song was trash. But anywho, this isn't about Nikki. Cardi B's dumbass is going to most likely be facing a misdemeanor charge because of what she did last year. In case you guys didn't know, she had a whole situation where she got into it with two bartenders in New York. Cardi B was basically doing a pop-up at a club in New York. And in this club, she just so happened to run into a girl who had a... Who was fucking her man. Long story short. She ran into a girl who was fucking her man and she was fucking pissed. And basically... This girl antagonized her, was talking shit all throughout the club. So Cardi B got her friend group, allegedly, allegedly, she got her whole friend group to basically attack these girls and throw bottles at them. Now, what makes this whole situation really, really bad is Cardi B's dumbass, this is coleslaw, by the way. Cardi B's dumbass is a fucking celebrity. So the fact that you're a celebrity on celebrity status and you're going through shit like this, it's not a fucking good look. Oh, by the way, y'all. Um, here's another weight loss tip. If you guys want to know how I keep my weight down. Apple cider vinegar. But anyways. Cardi B's a whole fucking A-list celebrity. And she's getting into shit like this. It's not a good look. And this already showed me that she's not going to fucking last. It's a little ridiculous to me. How every fucking week she's in, she's in the news about some dumb shit or she's addressing some fuck shit. I'm a culture vulture when it comes to hip hop and hip hop is not my culture. And I'm guessing people are saying that because I'm Hispanic, like half, I'm half Hispanic. I don't play like I ain't never had no motherfucking packs. I always have packs. So if I always been, if I always have packs, right? Let me tell you something. If I always have packs, I even have packs after I gave birth. Y'all could go to Google and be like, and search Cardi's abs. Y'all will see that I had always, all the time. Like if you a grown ass woman or a grown ass nigga on the comments talking shit, my nigga, you need a fucking life. You need to cut your motherfucking veins. Oh my fucking God. So y'all see what I mean? This industry plant is always fucking addressing some shit. Who gives a damn? You're famous. You're rich. You're the one getting seven hundred thousand plus dollars for a show. So Cardi B shows up to court. She showed up to court last year, back in October, and then she showed up to court recently again. And she looked pretty happy. She looked pretty overjoyed. And then she jumped on live to talk shit and basically to address everything and to address the haters who were laughing at her for getting arrested and possibly facing jail time. Honestly, Cardi B is a fucking mess. She even had the nerve to come for Harvey, the owner of TMZ, because he decided to report on the story. Because you know all the other blogs, they love to kiss 
Cardi B's ass. They love to kiss Cardi B's ass and never post shit about her because Cardi B has them under control. Cardi B says, and she posted and deleted this, by the way. Shout out to Impressive for screenshotting this shit. Cardi says, Harvey, you wrinkle fake tan bitch. You don't profit on talking about white celebrities. So you go out your way to report on shit people in the urban culture and even make shit up. It's crazy how two months ago, my public had to go out her way to prove to you guys that I had surgery because you insisted that I was pregnant and you was going to report it. Let me just stop there. Who gives a fuck? But anyways, it's because a reliable source claimed to tell y'all, I never did jail time, by the way. I don't have no criminal record. So because you don't have a criminal record, you're not a criminal? Okay. Anyways, but they want to drag this case because they want fame. They want press. Waste people tax money on bullshit case misdemeanor case. I don't understand how I've been to court six times for a misdemeanor. A fucking misdemeanor. So because it's a misdemeanor, you shouldn't be to go into court. You shouldn't be held accountable. God, this girl is clearly a narcissist at this point. But anyways, and now you try to upgrade it to a felony, the lowest of the low. And then she says, prosecutors were in the other room talking about how I hang around gay members, but don't talk about my clean ass record. Talk about all my private donations I gave that are in my bank statements, the charity events I performed for, and how I got keys to Marlboro, Brooklyn, that my gang member friends arranged to give out coats, something you white motherfuckers don't do for the community. Y'all don't do shit to better the community but harass and oppress. Okay, so basically you're trying to compare oppression to the fact that you got your gang-affiliated friends to torment allegedly, and ridicule and taunt ho bartenders because your man, they know how to be faithful to you because your man can even be faithful to you, even you being pregnant and having a damn kid. So you're blaming oppression and TMZ for why you were being impulsive and had your gang-affiliated friends torment women? God, what a fucking narcissist. So honestly, so come to find out, Cardi B is dealing with an indictment, meaning she has to go sit in front of a shit ton of judges and explain herself based on the shit that she had to do, basically on her participants involving the bartenders in that New York club. Wow, this is pretty bad because if Cardi B does jail time, she's missing out on money. She's missing out on opportunities. And if she even does jail time, this could affect her bag. Cardi B needs to learn how to shut the fuck up. She's over here addressing Harvey, calling Harvey a tanned orange bitch. And I'm over here like, is she fucking serious? Why do you care? Cardi B is a narcissist at this point. That's what I've concluded. Because I'm just like, why are you addressing shit? And then why are you bragging about the fact that you were given a charity and I don't post that? Who gives a damn? You're successful. This bitch got everything and she's still mad. If I had her level of success, I wouldn't be replying to bitches all the damn time. I know that money doesn't buy happiness. But shit, she ain't never satisfied. And I'm sure this made matters worse because one of Cardi B's friends who were involved in it 10 months ago, she went on Instagram live running her fucking stupid ass mouth. She talking to Offset, she talking to her fucking man. So now when I go over there, I'm trying to drink. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. Y'all know I want a motherfucking drink. We ain't getting no motherfucking drink because it was just a lot going on. So now as we leaving and I go to turn around, as I'm turning around to leave, the bitch, Batty G, whatever the fuck her name is, is over there blowing Cardi kisses. The bitch went just like this. Whatever y'all are. So when she went like that, I flew across that fucking bar. That's what the fuck happened. So Cardi can't tame me. Now, 10 months ago, when she did go to court, she did plead not guilty. And because she pled not guilty, this got pushed all the way the fuck back. And now they're saying, okay, you know what? We want to try to pursue charges. So Cardi B has to go to court on June 25th. June 25th. My bad, y'all. I, I went to school. My bad. 
So Cardi B has to go to court on June 25th and she has to explain herself. And if she doesn't give a reasonable explanation why she's allegedly a part of this whole situation, Cardi B could do like fucking two years in jail. I mean, come on now, she's doing 14 charges. They're trying to get her in on 14 charges. But indictment doesn't mean going to jail. She's always getting lucky, and she always gets a slap on the wrist for everything. I mean, the fact that shit from her past is resurfacing doesn't even help. Now, obviously, this is getting really, really hectic because the people that Cardi B allegedly attacked, Jada, and what was the other bitch name? I forgot her fucking name. They look like two regular mediocre looking Instagram models. But clearly these girls are pressing charges and the reason why all this is being pushed is because they're probably gonna try to sue Cardi and they probably are pressing charges to get Cardi down, which is really horrible. But then again, can we all admit that all this is fucking Offset's fault? Had he just kept his dick in his pants, none of this would have ever happened. I don't know why Cardi's with him. In my opinion, I, still, I feel like he's gonna cheat on her ass again. Cardi's ridiculous, and her narcissism is getting worse and worse every time she gets on live. She makes herself come across as less and less likable every fucking month whenever some shit pops up about her. To me, it seems like her head is too far up her ass, and the fact that she might face jail time, honestly, I think it's kind of good for her. And if, if she goes to jail, I wouldn't be sad and I wouldn't feel sympathy. How can you feel sympathy for somebody that literally sits up here and does stupid shit? We get it, you're successful, we get it. You're the highest selling female rapper of all time, we get it. You're a lyrical queen, we get it. You just won an award for being top writer of 2019. We fucking get it, Cardi. But success doesn't make you untouchable. Shit, look at Bill Cosby. Look at 6ix9ine. Look at OJ. Look at all these celebrities who thought they were untouchable and ended up getting touched. I'm just being honest here. I'm getting sick of her behavior at this point. And she's acting like a little ass fucking kid. She's 26 years old and she is too damn old to be clapping back at every little opinion that somebody has of her. And this is the life she chose. And I do kind of feel like the fame has gotten to her a little bit because coming from somebody who's followed Cardi B for years, I've noticed that as the years have gone by, she's not as humble and happy-go-lucky and free-spirited as she used to be. Maybe it's the fame, but I'm starting to care less and less and less about Cardi B because I'm just getting sick of her behavior. There is this fucking blog page, right? That they hate me. They hate me, hate me, hate me, right? Oh my god, who the hell cares? But now, they be posting the shit out of me. Either it's good, either it's bad. But they be posting a lot of good shit, but they following are people that don't like me because from the beginning, they never liked me. So people in the fucking shit talking about, people in the comments be like, oh, is she paying y'all? For you to post this shit? No, nigga. Do you want to know why he posting me? Because he noticed that no matter if you love me or you hate me, you still going to fucking check for me. You still going to give his page traffic when he posts me. That's why. That's why the motherfucker posts me. But y'all so dumb to, to realize. Y'all thinking that I'm out here paying niggas to post. Nigga, I don't got to pay nobody to fucking post me. Shit. I get posted regardless. Do y'all see how how many motherfucking cameras was outside for me uh, at court? Press, press, press. Shit. Was outside for me uh, at court? Press, 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 press. Shit. See, y'all hear that nigga in the back saying, press, press, press. Why the fuck is he enabling her behavior? Why is he telling her, get off live? Why isn't he telling her, hey, relax, it's okay, or chill out, you're doing too much, don't let them see you like this? Why is he enabling her behavior? See, this is Cardi's issue. And see, this is why Libras are the most controlling and the most narcissistic sign. Not all, but a lot of Libras. It's just like, 
when you enable their behavior, they're gonna think what they're doing is okay. And Cardi thinks what she's doing is okay because somebody's literally gassing her up. Niggas don't like me. They still gonna listen to my music just so they can fucking criticize me. And I and I got and people love the shit out of me. You know how many people tattoo me? Fuck is you talking about? Y'all niggas, y'all niggas, the thing is that y'all can understand the success. Y'all can understand why a ratchet bitch. Shut up. I'm tired of hearing this shit. Shut up, Cardi. If you don't want that money, you don't, you don't want that success, shit, give it to me. I'd love a fucking Grammy. And I'd love to be an industry plant. I've said this time and time again about Cardi, countless times. Controversy is what made her. Like all y'all keep asking me, how you wipe your nail, your ass with your nail? First of all, you don't clean your ass with your nails. You wipe your ass with these shits. And second of all, I stay getting my ass in and out. So you already know I know how to fucking wipe good. And controversy is what's gonna destroy her. Not the barbs. Not the blogs that she thinks hate her so fucking much, even though they report on every fucking body. But she is her own worst enemy. I'm tired of fucking hearing about her complaining. Honestly, I feel like jail wouldn't really be a bad idea. I think it'll humble her. I think her going to jail would take her back to her struggle days. Her going to jail would probably help her realize the bigger picture and the small things. She doesn't realize that all this can be taken away from her. And it can. Your behavior will put you at a liability. Her behavior is a liability. And her team, I feel like Cardi B's around a whole bunch of yes, man. Because the fact that she's literally talking shit and being extra and being ridiculous and addressing every little thing. And someone a part of her team is in the background saying, yeah, they want press. That's why they use your name for cloud. That's her issue. She's around yes men that fucking use her. She's around yes men that use her. They use her name, they use her clout, and they gas her up. And that's the worst thing about Libras. Cardi B is such a fucking Libra. Libras love hearing it, they're fucking right. And if you gas them up, letting them think that they're right, it's the end of the fucking world. They have the biggest egos. Her bragging about the charity she's given to is so fucking narcissistic. Who brags about giving the charity? And I'm sure, I'm sure them shits were tax write-offs anyways. Cardi is out here building a legacy for herself and making a name for herself. And breaking down barriers for the new botch body Instagram bitches. And here she is, ready to fucking ruin it. The worst part is, Cardi B shouldn't have to be paying for the mistakes that Offset did. Had Offset been loyal, this would have never fucking happened. But then again, Cardi is out here hiring people to intimidate these women. And Nikki just made shit worse by spreading the, the rumor around. Now, I'm gonna say, no! So there are two beautiful women right now mm. who who have been accused of whoever they slept with and, you know, whatever. And now, and so they were, you know, allegedly attacked and are cut up everywhere, but not, all, but not by women, men! You sending men well, to beat on women. I need some clarity on it. You said... Say you got these women crying and scared to leave their house. And you want to talk about stopping bags? This is disgusting. You be getting girls beat up because of what your man doing? I didn't think she was going to go this hard. <laughs> no, real bitches never do that. You never attack the woman. You never attack the woman. You take that up with your fucking man. But honestly, as far as we all know, we don't know what's going to happen. All we know is Cardi B will be heading to court on June 25th with her lawyer to clear her name. And I forgot to mention, she also pled not guilty, which is why she keeps going back and forth to court. They offered her a plea deal. 
She wouldn't have faced jail time, probably would have done some community service, but she refused it because she thinks it's not okay to accuse her of a crime that she didn't do. Or if they find her guilty, she could probably do like a like two years in prison. And honestly, that wouldn't really be that bad for her. She needs some, she needs a wake up call. People always tell her to ignore shit. And every time people, people tell her that, she always says, I'm always gonna stick up for myself no matter what. Okay, great. Well, you're, you're only sabotaging yourself. This, she's literally sabotaging her own career. It's a damn shame. Had you just shut the fuck up, a lot of this shit wouldn't really happen. And honestly, do I believe Cardi B really set these girls up and had her team intimidate them and throw bottles at them and chairs at them? As far as we know, there's no footage. It's right now it's only he say, she say, and witnesses. The reason why there's probably no camera because a lot of times whenever celebrities are in one room, a lot of times they say, okay, nobody can have cell phones out. Specifically because it's reasons like this. People like to record shit and nobody recorded anything. And isn't it crazy how not even the club has footage as far as we know? See, Cardi B, I don't know. This sounds a little bit weird. I don't know. It's, it seems like to me Cardi B probably told them like, hey, like throw that footage away or hey, give me that footage because I'm not trying to get in trouble. It seems a little bit suspicious because I don't know. It seems a little bit weird. Why was Cardi B in some random dusty ass club in New York just to pop up she didn't perform she just went there to pop up and show her face the Migos were actually performing because they got booked but why is it just so happened person who Offset was allegedly messing with working at that club you know it seems a little bit too odd and let the let's be honest here the botch body bartender who claimed Cardi assaulted her and her sister. She went on Instagram the same night that it happened a year ago and said this. Y'all pulled up with your cooches out, throwing drinks and stuff. What's tea? Cause y'all ain't do nothing. Girls swear they did something. Laughing, crying. We good. Now one of the people in Cardi's bloody crew actually posted and said, why was you hiding under the bar last night? Told you you wasn't like that. Why would a girl from Cardi B's crew say, oh yeah, no, we did touch you, we did touch you, you was hiding, da 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 like, huh? So, I don't know. So to me, it kind of does seem like it was kind of a setup, and it does kind of seem like Cardi B was more so targeting them. It just seems weird how nobody has footage of anything. Her, and then her fucking dusty ass friend already fucking snitched on herself by saying that she went over there and physically touched one of those girls. She said she physically jumped over the table to try to assault one of these girls. So it's just like, Cardi B is around too many yes men. That's her problem. People don't know how to tell her to shut the fuck up or tell her when she's wrong. And that's the issue. A lot of times, Libras can never admit when they're wrong. So when Libras can't admit when they're wrong, they look for validation within people. And sometimes people are dick suckers and they have to tell people, oh yeah, you didn't do nothing wrong, you didn't do nothing wrong, listen. Always call out the people you love and tell them when they're wrong or else they're going to keep doing the same shit. People who care about you, not going to have you walking around looking a hot fucking mess. That's all I'm saying. In other words, I'm kind of sick of seeing this shit. I'm kind of sick of hearing about Cardi in some controversy. I want to see this girl win. I do believe that she has some type of talent and I do believe that she has potential to blow up and be on legendary status one day. But I'm not here for her doing stupid shit and addressing nonsense and every fucking week getting mad at blogs. Every week. If it's not a YouTube blogger, it's an Instagram blogger. If it's not an Instagram blogger, it's a mainstream blogger. Like, get the fuck over yourself. No one cares. You're a celebrity. You're famous. People are gonna talk. Like drinking all this shit. Oh my god. Everybody just needs to get rid of Instagram. Like, there's no reason why you should still be on Instagram. There's no reason why your team should still be advising you to be on Instagram. 
when it literally has gotten you into trouble. This is nonsense. Hard to be able to plead guilty, but her friend already been snitched and said that she physically assaulted. But her, but her friend was already running her fucking mouth, so I don't know where this is gonna go. I feel like she's gonna get a slap on the wrist because she is a celebrity and she might do some like community service and shit. But then I also feel like something might hit the fan and she might have to, you know, be humbled. Because I feel like her having to go to jail, having to go through all this stuff, I feel like this is the universe trying to humble people. Because sometimes when you get out of line, the universe has to humble you and pull you into a certain direction to wake you up. And when you don't listen, the universe gives you a nasty wake-up call so that you are forced to listen. So at this point, I'm just waiting to see what's going to happen with Cardi B. I just finished my late-night snack. And yeah. So... That was that for this video. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Give your thoughts to me in the comment section down below. And yeah, that's that. Choice out this bitch. My satisfaction. You all enjoy a face. Free forever. Fall in love. Be sure that the ladies are friend If I ever, ever fall in love with you I will be sure that the ladies just like you Oh, The very next time she'll be my friend. The very next time she'll be my friend. Me and one and only promise, promise, promise that she'll never leave me lonely. I just want to be the one you need. Huh? Okay, um... Sorry guys, it is pretty late at night like I said, so I want to say thank you guys, <clears throat> I lost my voice today, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, thank you for everything, and let me know for me to the end.